Thank you. Grace and shine. So it's currently like nine something. I know it's before 10, so it's nine something. I'm not sure exactly and I don't feel like checking, so it's nine. We're really taking it back to like the OG Aaliyah YouTube days because I was like, oh my gosh, let me do a little summer morning routine slash what I do in the mornings now that I'm graduated college and I have nothing to do besides film myself do everything. Is this thing on? Hello. I'm not gonna waste much of your time. I'm just here to say I originally was supposed to just regularly do a morning routine video a way to dedicate and show y'all what I do during the summertime now that I'm graduated but I want to do the morning routine to switch up my content a little bit. I ended up really liking this video and how it came out and the vlogging and just how I was talking. It was so energetic today so I'm gonna keep referring to it as a morning routine till about third of the way, a fourth of the way through the video. Then I'll just be like okay it's a full day in my life because that's what is what happened and I just want to tell you guys that right now. Anyway let's get into the video. Um, after I spend about 30 minutes scrolling on my phone, even though I'm really not supposed to be on my phone till after I do my morning routine, I do it anyway. Because who cares? It's summertime. Let's have some fun. And the fun in question, not getting out of bed as soon as I wake up. I'm getting tired again, so that's my sign that I need to get out. I probably sound disgusting right now because my morning voice is in fact disgusting. And before y'all start clocking me, I did in I fact wear my bonnet to sleep. I just took it off a few minutes ago because I was tired of looking like the peanuts off of the Proud family. So I was like, let me take this shit off. I don't want to say I don't really have a set routine, but I don't really have a set routine. The only thing that I know every like day that I do, that was not proper English. The only thing that I know that I do every day without fail is eat and drink coffee after I brush my teeth. Some people may say that's counteractive, that's counterproductive, rah, 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 rah. I don't want my coffee and breakfast to be tainted with morning breath. So I am a brush my teeth prior to eating girl. Contrary to popular belief, that's who I am and that's who I stand for. I should really put my glasses on because I can't see. Ugh, just like that. My world is completely different. I apologize for my shirt keep falling off my shoulders, but I don't know. This shirt just has a big neck hole. I just put on my socks. I, for some reason, still don't have any house slippers. You're probably asking me, what? Since March, baby. I'm going to keep saying since March. No house slippers still. What's going on? What's going on in Aaliyah land? Can't freaking tell you. I do know that I am currently about to go downstairs and we're going to make some coffee. Now, anybody who's tried my coffee says this is the bomb. I'm gonna make my coffee. I need to go over my to-do list for the day because based on my to-do list, that usually depends on how I get ready in the morning, if that makes sense. If I know I'm not doing nothing but editing, I'm not fixing my eyebrows, my face, like nothing like that, you know? The things I do for certain angles, because the way this is set up, you would think that I have like a normal tripod up, Girl, no. I have my car mount on the window in my kitchen. I wanted to say in this video, you will be seeing a little bit of my morning, but not all my mornings look like this because I'm like setting the camera up and getting tripods and doing all that rah-rah. It's gonna be a little bit different than what it normally is and it's gonna take a little bit longer than it normally does because why is it already 10? I'm gonna just make my coffee. Even though I feel like y'all have seen me make my coffee like 5,000 and one times, I'm still gonna show you how I make it. I'm gonna start with caramel sauce. I usually line the entire cup with caramel before I put ice in it, but I don't feel like walking twice today. I forgot to put my syrup in my espresso shot, so I'm just gonna put two pumps of French vanilla Torani syrup in this whole thing. And I do two shots of espresso. Okay, my coffee's always been good, but I feel like my coffee's gotten extra good since I made the switch. I understand the cult following now. I usually just fill this up like half-ish way. I really like my coffee super duper sweet. Look how perfect this is. Did I chew? Did I snap? Did I eat? I don't know what special Chobani was running about a month or two ago, but they had the cutest little doodles on their creamer and I'm sad that they're not selling them at my Publix anymore. Excellent, per usual. Why well, I step on my coffee, let's read my to-do list for today. Maybe today will be the day that I actually do my Notion tour. I need to post my Spider-Man Spider-Verse vlog on TikTok and Insta- on TikTok and YouTube Shorts, and then I have to film three TikToks today. My current hygiene favorites, edit a YouTube video with me and what I've been wearing recently. I also have to do laundry. I also need to start packing for my vacation because by the time y'all are watching this, I'm gonna be there. I feel my little spark for creativity coming back. Not even my spark, I just haven't really been feeling like being on camera recently and I don't really know why I've been feeling like that to say the least, but I think I'm getting more comfortable with the idea again. Every time we're about to go to Florida, 
and visit my family. I always say I could live in Florida because I love going to Florida. It just feels so homey to me because we've been going there every summer. Like my family lives there. <laughs> like my family literally lives there. But Florida's like a second home to me. Anything from like Coral Springs down to Miami Dade. I know like the back of my hand. But that wretched man is in office and I will not be putting myself in that type of environment. Call it petty. I think it's called protecting my peace and my sanity. Fun fact, actually really sad fact, I haven't unpacked this since I went to Jamaica. <sighs> I'm done getting ready. I haven't felt pretty in a very, 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 very long time. My makeup is done. I put on lashes for the first time in a month. Let me cut, cut it out with the British accent. Apparently, a few of y'all are from the UK. So whenever I throw on a British accent, y'all think it's so funny. Because you're like, oh my gosh, is this how Americans see us? Yes, it definitely is. I think while we're in the bathroom, I'm going to go ahead and pull some of my hygiene favorites while I'm in here. And I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. Because hygiene is just like anything that requires you smelling good. I pulled... Two lotions, one mouthwash. I need to get my other EOS shaving cream. There's water in it, EOS. I don't really plan for my TikToks at this point in my TikToker career because I just, I feel like the spontaneousness of it and the kind of like randomness of it makes it more fun. I think I might just turn this into a day in my life vlog because baby, it's about to be 11.30 and I'm just now starting work for the day. As much as I wanna be like, I wake up at 6 a.m., 7 a.m., girly, go on a run, go to the gym, I just have come to the conclusion that that's not my lifestyle because if I finish everything I need to do before 12, what am I gonna do with myself? My hobbies for six hours? Now I'm gonna drive myself nuts. So right now I'm just really in my do things as you do them era. So basically, I got this holder for your phone. You can stick this and re-stick it like mirror surfaces. When I tell you my TikTok filming setup with my phone has just been so ridiculous. Saw this on TikTok and I'm like, okay, well let me try it. If I hate it, I could just return it. So I'm gonna be using it for the first time today. I film with a iPhone 13 Pro. Love my phone. I just need to learn how to color correct and color grade iPhone footage because sometimes it can be really harsh, especially because I film a lot of my TikToks in 4K and then TikTok be knocking the quality down for what? First impressions of this. All you're supposed to do is just stick it right up against the mirror. It's very sturdy. TikTok, I think you did it again, baby. Let me get my blanket out. <laughs> Not an Aaliyah work session if the blanket isn't out. So I'm in my office, you know, diddly doo da, and I'm over here thinking maybe I should just film my Notion tour, like while we're here. Welcome to my Notion. This is my hub for everything. I kind of fell out of using it. I'm not gonna sit up here and lie to you because you know when school finished, I was like, what's the point of this anymore? But the point is so I can feel like I have some sort of control over my life. In my Notion, I literally have everything. This is just the homepage. So on my homepage, I have things broken down into like different sections. Here's my little hub. I have planning broken up into weekly quarter and yearly i'm not gonna go through every single one in detail but weekly is just my weekly to-do list i have a calendar view of the same to-do list like a weekly view and then you know like an actual month-to-month -month do thing like that's just how i set it up i haven't updated this quarter one in a long 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 time this is a lot of personal stuff as you can see it's been a while because what do you mean close on and move on to new home yeah this is just my quarterly like next quarter i want to i have my focuses and then like what worked for each quarter and then what didn't and then my personal not gonna sit up here and lie y'all i don't use most of these personal pages i mainly use notion for content creation and planning and like my to-do list uh, my reading list it basically just has every single book that i own i need to update this because I do have new ones and then i have things that i've read things i haven't read and it's said in alphabetical order i have things like if i own it the author want to read the rating date started date finish just stuff like that i also have a media list i don't really use this either but just shows i want to watch where i can watch it and then i also have a university section since i'm not in school anymore i could really delete this but y'all might want to use it as like a guide so i'm going to show it to you on here anyway i have had when I was absent as you can see and then I just had my assignment due dates in this big calendar if I completed them stuff I needed to get for readings and classes like that and I have my planner section this was just where like assignments and then courses I had and then the due dates everything was color coordinated it was fun I would have like my 
class info, like the name, the schedule, the professor, professor email, obviously not gonna show that because that's federal as hell. Um, and then where it was, as you could see, there was a lot of reason for blurring when I did post school content in my Notion thing, but yeah. I used to really document my dreams. I really fell off because all my dreams are just so like wicked. You would think somebody's trying to kill me in my sleep, but that's just that. I have recipes in here. In case I don't know what to make, I need to update this because I've learned how to make a lot more stuff, obviously now. I have this weekly habits thing. I don't really use this anymore. I just use it as kind of filler. If I do decide to ever pick up and get consistent with the habits I want to do more, maybe I'll use it. But as of right now, I'm not really using it. Last thing under this little section is this content creation and work section because hello, Miss Employed. I'm going to go through my content creation one in grave detail because it's painful how much detail went into this and how much I appreciate this. This is my content creation hub. I have my planning thing again. It's in that thing that syncs in different pages. So it's just the same thing as before. I have my go-to tools, Canva, Creative Market, and Magic Link. I also should put Epidemic Sound in here, but it's going to mess up the evenness of this. And then it's going to make me upset, which is why it isn't in there. I have my goals per month. Let me just say a lot of them, I will say for 2023, you do my goals in quarters. So when it's July, nine times out of 10, I'll just change this June to July <laughs> because my goals pretty much stay the same. Here's my quick link section. I have a 2023 section because that's my content creation stuff for 2023. I asked you guys back in late 2022, these questions that are bolded. And then I put the answers that I saw the most under each one. And then I asked you guys how I could spice it up. And then I put that there and then video ideas I asked you guys. I asked you guys for videos you wanted to see, things that don't really have a thing, Instagram, TikTok ideas, like y'all, I asked you guys that for a reason because I care what you have to say. I'm just not asking you that to make it seem like I care because I actually do care. I have a YouTube playlist section. I don't look at this too much, but I have my YouTube broken up into playlists and then based on the playlist, I need to know where to put certain videos because it's hard to forget, okay? I have content ideas. I don't really use this page as much as I probably should, but I'm gonna start. And then I have a series section. Okay, here's my series. Yup, general videos, moving diaries which i already did living alone diaries college diaries living leave it da, da, da. need to update that because i don't do some of those anymore and then i have a sponsorships and brand deal section because lord have mercy i need to keep track of how much money i'm bringing in for tax reasons so this is a really big section i'm not going to show you guys what i make in detail so the whole payment section is probably going to be blurred out because i don't want to get robbed in this section i have these little drop down things of people i would like to ideally work with one day um and they're just drop downs the lists are very long which is why they're drop downs did i i've worked with canon <laughs> Right next to this, I have a payment tracker because LJ, you will always be famous. He does all my payment tracking, updates my payment track. I'm not going to show you that because that's federal as well. That's just keeping track of when I got paid, who paid me what day, how much. So I just know when to look for it. Every single brand deal that I've gotten with my management is right here. And then I put the company name, the campaign length slash when it went live, how long I work with these people, the status, platforms, payment, if they paid me. There's a lot of brands here. Better example of like the status, I have it under not started working on concepts submitted concept concept approved because we had to submit concepts for the videos we're going to do for these people or pictures progress filming editing submitted for approval pending approval but you need to be in detail because it's easy to forget what step you are in the process because especially during the summertime when i get a lot of my sponsorships you see how many brand deals i've gotten from march of this year to now so it's just really important that i'm really in detail with this sorry if the lighting's I use a natural light. All right. <laughs> and I also like to put what platforms I post on because not everybody wants me to post on just one platform. Sometimes it's multiple. And then I get the payment. This does not include the 20% my managers take. That's what's in the offer email. So that's what I put right there. It's important to be organized in this field because Lord have mercy, it would be so hard if I wasn't. This is from when I was in the YouTube Black Creator Fund. They gave us a bunch of like tools and links. So I just put the stuff there for if I want to revisit it later. Research is an interesting one. I don't see a lot of people tracking their numbers as crazily as I do because I have a a weird obsession with numbers. I think it's fun. I should have majored in data analytics in college, but I did not. So here we are. I put my goals for each quarter slash month and then I do priorities based on how to get to these goals. Like one of my goals is to get a certain amount of views during the time and then maintain a certain amount of money via YouTube, not including of course like brand deals so in here i put like the youtube title the link when i uploaded it what's the pillar that i would categorize this video there's a lot i'm not gonna go through all of them if i premiered them or not if i use a youtube short to promote it how many views i got within 24 hours how many views i got within a week two weeks three weeks and da -da -da -da. very excessive i obviously need to update this but i really like to use this to see how y'all are reacting to and how my content performs based on y'all a lot of y'all like to say like oh we love this but the analytics say otherwise I'm not gonna argue with analytics because hello, word of mouth is never the best thing to do. My content calendar. She's looking sparse. I haven't had a good June. I had like a really slow month, right? I'm just gonna show you what my July looks like. Yup, almost 
it's almost as if I want to give myself a heart attack. Obviously, some things are going to get moved around. Not everything's like set in stone. I posted this today. Since we're talking about posting, let me show you what's in my content creation thing. I make these little things and it gives different details on each one. It's in depth, the platform type of post. If it's sponsored, I check it. Related to brand, this is connected to my collab collaboration directory, yup. And if it's connected to a brand, it'll be in here. Potential brand deals, brand deals I can see for said video. If it's a part of a series, let's say I wanna start a new post, right? I hit plus. I have these things right here that say what it is using the logo. I used to use emojis, baby we fixed it. I feel so proud of that because I used to use emojis for each platform post. Let me go back a couple months. You see this? Like the emojis work, but it's just so much easier if I just see the logo of the app that I'm supposed to be posting on. It's TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, and of course it says underneath what each thing is. So I don't need to say like TikTok or like YouTube short, you know? Like I used to, like way back when, like you see how this IG reel? No, because it highlights it. Right there, I have it breaking up into YouTube calendar. It's so easy to see everything when it's laid out. It shows how often I'm posting. It really just isolates it. And then I also have it filtered for TikTok. I don't really use the Instagram one because I hate Instagram. That's just that. That's that's that little section right there. Social media client portal. I'm supposed to be getting into managing social media because when I do eventually finish social media being in front of the camera, I want to be behind the camera, helping people and content, get brand deals, collaborations. I want to do that because I love social media and I I think the behind the scenes is so much fun. Um, so Matter Media, when we're done on the creator front, I will be submitting my resume. I found this really cool. I actually saw my fam post like a Notion overview of her like to-do list in the calendar. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so convenient. So basically how I have this laid out right here, it's just a calendar thing. And the properties that I like to show is complete or not, cause if not, it just looks like this. And then I use of course the same logo system that I do for content creation. If it has to deal with content creation and it's right here, but if it's not, I'll just use like an emoji or something. I have like computer work, editing, it'll show a computer. You feel me? But I like to show if it's completed or not. I like to have that right there. And then of course, I have another calendar view that shows the weekly one specifically because it can be overwhelming to like scroll through this and see like, oh my God, I have something to do every day. But I have a calendar view that shows a week to week basis and I could just go and click around. I think it's pretty genius. I'd like to separate it by tags like personal content creation photography if it's completed, if there's a link that needs to get to it, the status, da da da. I mean, they just use the completed and then tag section. Yeah, y'all. That's my notion tour. Hope you guys this is everything you need I'm gonna find the link of the original template I will say this is a completely different aesthetic from the, the template that I bought I decided to go for a more light airy anime theme because I just think it's very peaceful and fun to look at It's like the greens and the grays and then of course like the gifts at the top are different for every single page At least I try to make them a little different based on like what each thing is as you can see They're all kind of different some I still have to change as you can see like if I haven't updated the header I probably we don't use it yeah all the ones that i use like on a daily basis have like a special header so yeah y'all that's my no shane are you guys gonna beat me now can you guys not threaten me anymore i'm hungry like my stomach is growling i haven't ate today y'all saw the morning routine i wasn't hungry i'm just now getting hungry for the first time and it's 117 so instead of eating the 5,000 doordash i mean the 5,000 Trader Joe's meals I have in my fridge. I am getting DoorDash. Look, I don't know what it is, but I go through these phases where I have like fixation foods and nothing but those foods. I don't want anything other than them. I don't know what it is. I refuse to eat anything other than that. And right now, my go-to is Tintin Tin Cafe and Kabuto's. Both are hibachi style foods. And if I just learned how to make it, that would be amazing. But usually when I cook food that I'm craving, by the time I'm done cooking, I'm either A, not hungry anymore, or B, I just, I don't feel like eating it because the smells, it really just tricks my body into thinking that I'm full when it's not. And it's so annoying. Speaking of so annoying, I forgot how annoying it was to list things on Depop. I love giving people the opportunity to shop secondhand, but listing that sh when I tell you when I was like taking the pictures and everything, my back was hurting so bad. Granted, I'm only 21 years old, so I shouldn't be having as many back problems as I do. I can say that wholeheartedly. I probably shouldn't be having back problems, period, at 21. But oh my God, if you're a consistent Depop girly and you're casual, relax, <coughs> relax, Papa. Hey, <coughs> hey, hey, <coughs> are you arguing with me right now? If you're a consistent Depop girly, props to you because that literally takes so long to do like it, it's not that time consuming but it's just between the taking the pictures and then listing the stuff and then getting everything set up i got doordash so i'm doordashing for lunch today probably shouldn't be doing that but here we are
I ordered a few pieces off of Garage because I've come to the conclusion that I can't with jeans while I'm in Florida. I hate jeans as it is, but considering I just got rid of a bunch, I one, don't feel like paying for them, and two, they're too heavy for Florida. Got a few new pairs of track pants from Garage because I'm pretty sure they have my favorite, if not my favorite, um, style of track pants at Garage, but I also got some shirts. Probably just gonna be living in track pants and small shirts my entire trip. First little shirt I got is just heavy on the little shirt. White tank top, scoop neck, Croppy, nothing crazy. That is this little white dress. I think it's adorable. Um, it's this white dress. It has kind of a um, what you call it, like texture to it. But it's just this little white dress. It has like the X back. And it has the tie on the back. I love a dress. I used to hate dresses when I was a kid, but now they're just so easy to throw on and just get up out of the house. And then the second thing in this package is this pair of army green track pants. They are so cute. These are a size small. And they have like the little things that you pull together to like tighten them. They have some little detailing on the back pockets. Then they have the same ones at the um, bottom. Okay, oh, drop my lip gloss. Ugh. Going in with Fenty Heat. One of the, if not best, lip glosses I've ever used in my life. Sorry. Um, I finished lunch and I decided since I'm in the mood to be on camera today, I might as well keep recording. So I changed my shirt and I'm about to film some book content. Okay, yep. The one time I posted book content on my YouTube channel, y'all let me flop so bad. And y'all were begging for that video. So the way I was, I, I was thinking it was gonna perform, I'm like, oh my God, this might be like the best performing video on my channel because a lot of y'all like to read, da, da, da. I posted that video, lowest performing video of the year. Worst watch time I've ever had. Lowest views I've ever gotten ever. Y'all let me down, so now you're banished to short form land. Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube shorts. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna listen to the numbers every time. I just, I'm gonna stay in my niche and then include little hobbies within my vlogs and then that's probably gonna be it. Three TikToks that I wanna film. These were not on the original to-do list, but it's what we're doing, okay? Want to film the worst books I've read. I have four books for that. I have books that sent me into a reading slump. I have six books for that and then i have my five star reads which i think is two four six, seven books did i also mention that i filmed my favorite canon cameras as a content creator and i included three cameras so that's always fun on um, my film that so that's checked off my to-do list from a different day so like i said since i'm in the mood to film i'm just filming a bunch of stuff today because who knows when this is gonna happen again. I don't like to be on camera for TikToks and Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts very often, so we're taking advantage of what we got. So far, I'm having a great time. If you're having a great time, I'm having a great time. talked we went over the breed they hadn't answered any questions that i had i didn't have that many because they're just very thorough and very lenient so i was like okay cool you know good i think this is the first ever time that a brand has asked me if there are any days that i'm not going to be home slash on vacation like if there's any time away that i'm gonna have so they can work around the due dates don't f around become my favorite brand to work with because oh my gosh i work with a lot of sorry my necklace is like all not flat and it's bothering me i have a lot of brands that i've worked with that are really lenient with like due dates because i've worked with them time and time again they know what to expect from me they know my turnaround time is good like just all that but this is the first ever time i think a brand has asked me if i'm like not gonna be home to like make content because they don't expect me to make content on vacation which i so appreciate because even though my job is so like my life driven and i am gonna be making content on vacation it's almost nearly impossible for me personally at least at this point in my career to like make content as good as i can at home because like i still can it's just like you know how when you know you work good in the library. Like home is my library. I do my best filmed B-roll footage at home because I have all the stuff that I need to like make said footage. But I know I can do my best sponsored content at home because I have all my supplies, my stabilizers, my backdrops. I can still make good content while I'm on vacation because I just what happens when you come with skill, baby. <laughs> Hi.
Hi. It's been a few hours. My boyfriend's here. We're about to eat dinner. I did, in fact, order. I almost said Toyama. Tin Tin again. Hello, everybody. My boyfriend says hello. Um, I haven't really done anything for like the past hour. I think my work battery just kind of died. I then came to the realization that in order for me to do my cool little editing stuff, I need a printer unless I just edit two YouTube videos by Friday night. <laughs> I'm coming here. This is future Leah coming in. Well, yep. Wait, future Leah coming in to say um i try to add a fuse frame to like say this it'll be like stuck on my face and i would like chat but it's not working right now so we're doing the old school way cute little editing session pop it i don't know what possessed me to just skip over the context of this but basically i need a printer to do a lot of my cool effects okay y'all see me printing stuff out doing mixed media i need a printer for that and at the time i was just debating and thinking out loud if i should bring my printer with me to florida so i can edit and produce content at the highest capacity for y'all consistently because i would hate to get into this group and then i get to florida and i'm like oh this kind of sucks so that's what i was talking about that's the context for this so there's that i'm sorry i didn't include it i don't i don't know what happened which is possible because mom's done with the rough cut of my closet clean out i only have about a 20 minute section left to edit but part of me just wants to speed it up i don't know the video is about 27 minutes without that section in it and then I can really start going in and editing So that's my little dilemma right now on top of uh, my closet clean out video I need to do I need to finish filming it for one because I still have to go through my hoodies and then actually finish Making my closet little look a little bit more presentable with like shoes bags But I'm just gonna do that tomorrow like out of sight out of mind Let me finish one video at a time because I started this one It wasn't even supposed to last all day and then I turn around and did and now here we are I have another video that I don't necessarily need i've just been wanting to be in front of a camera like the past week and a half and i don't know what it is